Today we're going to look at how you can fake bending or flexing actual geometry in 3D Vic Composer. In many cases, just a simple cross is all between multiple form parts will do the trick. This episode will cover a few tips and tricks to help create the illusion of this belt changing shape over time. I started off with this simple belt in SOLIDWORKS and created multiple sweeps to give me multiple belts that I can cross dissolve. For a tip, the more pieces, the smoother the transition. In this case, I used about 10. Now in Composer, I'm going to turn down the opacity of all the belts, then select the first belt and make it 100% opaque at frame zero. Next, I want to move the timeline about half a second and fade the first belt out and fade in the second belt. Then I'll just repeat the process, moving the timeline half a second at a time until I've got all my cross dissolves. When they're all done, I want to add a little trick to help give the illusion of movement on the actual belts. I'm going to select all the belts, enable a texture that matches the length and width of the belt in the top. Later I'll animate that. Now if I play the animation, we can see a general cross dissolve between the belts. Next, I select the whole timeline, scale it back about halfway, which give a little quicker cross dissolve and cross fade. Now, I need to animate the pulleys to match the movement of the belts. I just want to animate the first and last position. The in-between should match up fairly well. I'm just visually aligning the V in the pulley to match the position in the belts in both pulleys. Just so I can make this loop nice, I'm going to select all the keys, hold my control key and copy and drag, and then reverse the time in the keyframes. Next, I'll animate the rotation of the pulleys. I set up assembly groups so I could rotate the whole thing and animate the movement of the parts separately for more flexibility. Here I'm just using minus 1440 degrees, so it spins a few times over four seconds. The dirty scratch texture helps sell the rotation. It's really hard to see perfect surfaces when they're rotating. Lastly, I'll just animate the texture on the belt so again it looks like the belt is moving over time. I want to go to the last frame of the animation and select all the belts at once, then use the texture translate tool. You don't have to be exact, you just want to show motion. Now if you render out these frames, you should see a nice smooth translation. Let's render them out so I can show you a couple more tips to help sell the look. First I'll go to the high resolution panel and save my frames out using 60 images per second to give me even more flexibility in my post processing. I always recommend saving frames versus AVIs if you're going to composite. Here I'm using Adobe After Effects, then scaling the frames by 50%, then I use frame blending. Now I can go ahead and save my movie. And now we can see the finished product. In this case, it's a little rough, but sometimes you can get amazing results that you'd never really know the geometry is not deforming. Hope you liked today's deformation fakes.